recording. Hey guys, what's up? It's me, Latif Thaddeus, and welcome back to my channel. <laughs> so, winter's coming. I know half of you bitches are lonely, dry, desperate, and need a man. So I'm going to be your support system. I am going to be reviewing some gay dating apps um, to offer you some options and I'm just putting myself out there so I can give you the best review possible um, for your viewing pleasure. You're fucking welcome. Let's let's start the review. Alright, so let's start with the most infamous gay dating app of them all. The head fucking supreme. Grindora. Um, that's just grinder in Spanish. Oh my god, wait, hold on. This guy's from my high school. Okay, I really hope he doesn't watch my videos because I fucking hate him. Um, the interface is completely different. Um, it's kind of, it's kind of slaying my, slaying my life right now. This is the picture I chose. Um, something nice and decent to, you know, show off my eyes. Um. <laughs> Moving on to messages. Um. Okay, I don't know if this is shade or not. Someone just said, I almost thought you were in, di in a diaper. Oh, this is an interesting one. Um, <laughs> an icebreaker, to say the least. Hi! Older trucker at the pilot gas station looking to suck some young cock. Oh, grinder. How you have not changed at all. These people are just like, they're, um, very bold. I'm gonna get kudos to you, bitch. Kudos to you. Hey! Can I buy a used pair of your tidy whities Question mark. <laughs> Love the underwear. You know, this is gonna be a good business tactic to sell my used underwear like they did on um, Orange is the New Black because, bitch, these bills need to be paid. If you want some dick, this is a great app to go to. So, we're going over to Grinder's Ugly Stepsister, Jacked, which is a lot more ratchet in my opinion. Now, Jacked has a lot more options than Grinder. Um, you, can, you can load a lot more guys, not like that. This guy is upset because on like August 3rd, he's like, what's good? And then like, I didn't respond because like I really wasn't interested and I don't have to write back. And then he sent another message with like the rolly eyes. And then he wrote me today saying, can you tell me the reason why you ignored the last message I sent you, please? I want an understanding. And then proceeds to send this. It's a picture of me being blocked. I wasn't, I, I promised I wasn't going to get emotional over this, but all the fucks that I give are just, they're just not there, you know? <laughs> oh my god. <sighs> I don't care. I have a message from a David Green um, that says simply, quote unquote, I would love to taste that with a picture, a nice picture, of, you know, um, next to a Christmas tree. So, a little classy. I'm not sure what he's trying to taste because I, he didn't really specify that. The majority of the messages so far are like, pretty nice. Like, people are saying good morning, um, hi, hey, very handsome, you're like, you're beautiful, um, let me see what you're working with. You know, just the same old pickup line. I think people on Jacked are more looking for a relationship. Plus, there's a lot more guys on here, so that's a plus if you're looking for more options. So this app I'm going to talk about now is relatively new in the gay dating app world compared to the other two I talked about, and I feel like it's a, a gay twist on Tinder, and I think you might like it, especially if you're not really into the hookup. So the app is called Surge. There's, like, no labels. It's just be yourself. There's no... Um, prejudice. Everyone's pretty nice on here so far. What a concept. Um, now this one, I play with it a little- Oh my god. There's this guy who I used to talk to a long time ago, who I like, really, really liked. And I haven't like seen him 
in a long time and like his picture is like the first one to like pop up like I wonder if we like match with each other <gasps> But I feel like this one gives you a lot more options because you're matching with someone who you both mutually are attracted to rather than getting unsolicited messages from people you're not really interested in. And I feel like that's a great thing to have, especially if you're more interested in dating. You have a lot more of a chance of matching with someone that you might like and like going out for coffee or dinner and then your dry, lonely ass will not have to brave the winter alone because you have someone else's body heat on top of you, keeping you warm so you won't die like Rose let Jack die in the Titanic. I will never get over that shit. Fucking bitch, there is room for two. So if you guys wanna check the app out, it's going to be a link in the description box down below. And if you use my promotional code, Latif, you get one month free, which means you can see the people who actually like you so you have a better chance of matching and you also can go back if you match with the wrong person. So it's pretty, it's a pretty sweet deal of one month. So you got one month, bitch. To get your man. I want you to tag me once you guys get married. Um, I will be collecting fees. That's going to be it for this week's video. I hope you guys enjoyed watching me review gay dating apps and I hope you guys have a better experience than I did and I hope you find your dream man or girl because I don't discriminate. Um, and a big special thanks to Surge for sponsoring this video. I hope you guys enjoy the app and please let me know down below what your experience has been on it. Or you can find me on my other social media accounts. I like to talk to you guys, especially on Tumblr and Twitter. Those are my most active. All right, so I am going to watch RuPaul's Drag Race Season 2 All-Stars instead of talking to a camera like a weirdo. Um, I'm gonna do that. So, thank you guys for watching, and until next time, peace out, bitches. <laughs>